Alright, so hello and welcome to task number four, the uh, 3D escape. This this one was uh, had three different teams, a magic team, a versatility, and a, and a vigor team, and they all had their own strengths and weaknesses. Um, this one's a little bit shorter than the previous challenges, partly because uh, there's three times as much experimentation to do with three different save files to start with, although you may be able to like uh, start making decisions even before you really know what's in them, but one thing I did, uh, I, I did make a mistake, I meant, I didn't re think about how Locke being at lower HP would impact the Valiant Knife, he was supposed to start at full, but I didn't really think about it when he got hit on the way up to the save point, so that gave the Vigor team more of an edge than they were supposed to have in the damage department, so... I mean, it doesn't take much time to hit him down to that HP, but it's still an edge that, in the, a competition this short, so... Anyway, I suppose we should get started then. Three, two, one, go! Alright, so everyone's menuing up here. Cecil's in the bottom, Tank Rider's in the top left, and Jackmus is in the top right. And everybody will just be going through their menus for a while here, getting set up. Well, except Cecil, because he's out of there like a shotgun. But he does take the bottom route instead of jumping down the hole, which is actually a little bit slower than jumping down the hole and then backing out of the room there. So that's a little bit of a hitch, but it doesn't matter. He's still making some pretty decent time. I think it only amounts to one battle, or maybe even like three quarters of a fight, if that can even be considered a thing. Cat scratch and throwing stuff is, and the fixed dice of course, are the main draw of the versatility team in terms of battle damage. Tenka submitted a run for every team, and he didn't seem to notice the fixed dice existed, or he either that or he grossly underestimated them in his uh, versatility run because he didn't use it at all. So Jackamus is going down the bottom route, he's uh, far and away at, in first at the moment. but. Cecil, and he chose a different route than Tenka, and somehow I have a feeling that Tenka didn't go out of his way to go on the left path just because he felt like it. So I'm assuming that's probably the fastest route, and Jackamus and Cecil didn't notice it. Although I have not actually timed it myself. So yeah, Jackamus is just cleaning through these things with Cat Scratch, but the Valiant Knife cleans things through pretty quick too. That dash, uh makes up for any slowness of the versatility team though. Although again, there should have been a slight, uh, slightly less damage coming from the Vigor team or some time spent knocking down, locked down to low HP. So yeah, I think uh, Cecil's a little bit behind Tenka now at this point. Uh, when they were leaving the three switch room, they were pretty much right on par with each other, but Choosing the shorter route saved a lot of time for Tenka there. Jackamus ignores the fixed dice there, which makes sense because he's already got fixed dice, I suppose. He's going with the uh, Merit Award and uh, Gao, which uh, is normally used for the Wind God Gao setup, but I didn't give anyone a Tempest or anything, so for their versatility team after all. And nobody on the Vigor team is going to be raging, so that's a moot point. Well, Vigor team has far more things to throw at stuff. The versatility team has just enough to make it through, really, in the majority of cases. So as you can see, Jackmus is really close to the end here, so he's in the final room, but he, I don't think he gets another fight before he ma makes it to the end. But. Believe it or not, Tenka runs quite the distance here, so he doesn't get one either, and he doesn't have to wait for the crane, if you'll notice, because uh, he chose the middle path, and the crane stops there first. So if you look, Tenka just barely edges out Jackamus, like, it's not even half a second according to my video editor, so man, that came close. Despite the different team choice, it came within half a second, so I'm pretty glad about how that worked out anyway. And, uh, like I said, short, shorter run, uh, it actually would have made a difference if I had Locke at full HP, like I was supposed to, because Tenka actually would have lost that if I didn't make that mistake, so... That's a point in Tenka, <laughs> that's a point for Tenka, I guess. 
but yeah, very, very close. Good job to everyone. Cecil, even Cecil, like, he's not that far behind. He's only, like, 30 seconds behind, so that's only, like, a random encounter, probably because he didn't jump down the thing at the start. So yeah, good work to all the participants. We've also got to wait for the crane again. But... Yeah, I think if Jackmas had have uh, noticed the route on the left, he probably would have taken it anyway.